the 300 PRC versus the 338 Lapua Magnum. We're gonna take it long range, and I mean long range today. Hello, friends and lovers. This is Dave Trillo, and you're listening to the Ammunition Guide podcast brought to you by none other than ammo.com. You've got very far away things. You want to shoot those very far away things. We've yep. got two cartridges you can use to shoot very far away things. But, Chris, you and I were just talking about the uh, 300 PRC and how its success is really going to depend on its military, on our military's appraisal of it. Yeah, this is a very interesting cartridge to say the least. It's it's one of those cartridges that they built the cartridge first and then they built the rifle around it. And if you like shooting cartridges like I do, uh, make sure you click on that link down in the description. Get your free $20 off coupon to ammo.com and uh, save yourself a little bit of money on your next ammunition purchase. But yeah, that 300 PRC, very interesting cartridge. The military is evaluating it from what I've heard, but it's, it's a big question on whether they'll take it or whether it's a big enough step over the 300 Win Mag or the 308. Yeah, uh, I know we're comparing this to the 338 Lapua Magnum. Yep. But is it appreciably better than the 300 Win Mag? Yeah, I mean, that's always a question. You never know how woke the army is going to go these days. But it is a big question of how much better it is. And it's a little bit subjective, but I will say this. That 300 PRC is built to make it out to 1,500 yards, and that is a really long shot. Whereas before, you were pretty much limited to either the 338 Lapua or the 50 BMG to shoot that far. It's a real big question. Is it good enough? And from a ballistic standpoint, I'm going to go ahead and say yes, it is. Uh, Hornady developed the 300 PRC. They said, okay, we want to make the best 30 caliber cartridge out there. How do we do it? And that's basically how they started this 300 PRC program. You know, you look at its base statistics, uh, 212 grain bullet about oh, yeah. for 300 PRC, maybe 225. That's pretty heavy. The muzzle velocity isn't, isn't bananas fast, about 2850. Yep. FPS. So you're talking about it extremely. This this must be as accurate as we can make a 30 caliber bullet. It really is. When you push it out to 1500 yards, the trajectory on the 300 PRC is actually flatter than the 338 Lapua Magnum, which is uh, impressive to say uh, the least. Yeah, that's those insane ballistic coefficients. Oh, yeah. I think uh, 300 PRC sits comfortably about 650, uh, well, 0.650 to be more precise. 338 lap mag, does it contend with that? Uh, so there are a couple. So if you want to shoot like the heavier 300 PRC bullets, like the 225 grain ELD match bullet, uh, your ballistic coefficient is like 0.77, which is insane for a 30 caliber to say the least. 338 Lapua Magnum is going to be better uh, at about 0.86, but I will say uh, Hornady does have a 250 grain uh, A-tip match bullet that has a ballistic coefficient of 0.878. Uh, for the 300 PRC. There's just no factory ammunition made for it yet. It's one of those ones that you have to hand load for. I would say, you know, with the heavier bullets for the 300 PRC, uh, I would say you were pretty much getting on par with the 338 Lapua Magnum with a lot less recoil. And I think that's one of the major selling points on the 300 PRC is it has about half the recoil of the 338. That is bananas. Now, is that just with powder formulation, or is there some trick of bullet weight and velocity that I'm not appreciating, or does the rifle weigh 82 pounds? Well, no, actually, when I did this in the article, I used the same rifle, uh, you know, with the same weight. Barrett MRAD was my choice. We're looking at about 22 foot pounds for the 300 PRC fired out of that rifle versus about 40. Uh, for the three uh, three eight, and that's that's appreciable, and that's you know the difference between shoulder bruising and not. It's one of those rifle bullets that's like if you shoot competitively or you shoot professionally for long range, you really need to give a look at the three hundred PRC because that's exactly what it was built for. It's one of those purpose built cartridges, and that's not to say that the three three eight isn't purpose built as well because the military basically said we want a bridge between the fifty. Uh, BMG and the 300 Win Mag. Give us something. And so that's exactly what they did. They came up with the 338 Lapua and it was basically built to punch through body armor at a thousand yards. And the other thing that the 300 PRC has going for it is barrel life, which is something that high powered 30 caliber bullets have had an issue with. Yeah, that lower recoil you suggested that would also mm -hmm. suggest that uh, 
its, it's barrel isn't getting tortured too much per shot. The 300 PRC has a fairly respectable barrel life, which most people estimate right around 1,500 rounds, which is about the same for the 338 Lapua. Now, I think the other thing that needs to be mentioned that we always like to talk about is ammo availability. And this is definitely an Achilles heel right now for the 300 PRC, because if you don't like buying ammunition from Hornady, there, there are no other manufacturers that I'm aware of right now that are offering 300 PRC. I've noticed that. Uh, I think they got almost two dozen people to make guns for it, but they're yeah. they're pretty much the only ones making the ammo. Whereas the 338 Lapua, there are several manufacturers that you can get some from, but uh, it's definitely not cheap. Probably looking at about three bucks a round for 300 PRC versus about 450 for the Lapua Magnum. Yeah, those 300 PRC rounds, they're, I mean, you want a high-tech bullet for the kind of long-distance shooting it's meant for. But. Oh, yeah. But uh, to really get to those high-level accuracy ratings, uh, you really need to be shooting these high-level bullets that we're talking about. And, uh, you know, the Hornady's, uh, Sierra, things like Berger, uh, Barnes, these types of bullets are what you're going to be putting through your gun. Now, naturally, you're not going to use either of these rifles for home defense because oh, you anticipate no. it's going to be very tricky to convince a judge that <laughs> someone standing 1,200 yards away was presenting a very clear and present danger to your personal safety. But we got to touch on their suitability for hunting. That is a very good point, and that is one area that both of these rounds kind of are a little bit fringe, uh, to be honest with you, as far as hunting. Now, can they do it? Absolutely. Uh, you know, you want to take down an elk or a moose, uh, both of these rounds will get the job done. And even the Hornady loads, uh, like the, let me see, I haven't pulled up here, like the, the 212 ELDX is an actual hunting round. It's made for that large game shooting. Of course, there are 338 rounds that are built for, for big game hunting. Uh, and things like that. So the question comes down to it's like, what range are you going to be engaging your target in and how much power do you want? Uh, I would say that you know, 338 is a bit much, uh, in my opinion, for something like an elk. I'm not saying you can't do it, but it's a lot of bullet, uh, to say the least. I think a 300 PRC would be a better choice for an elk or a moose. Yeah. And I think we usually advise a minimum 1,500 foot-pounds yep. on delivery for elk. Yes. And just looking at the 300 PRC, it's it's not going to do less than that within 500 yards. It's and that's a pretty good shot, uh, to say the least. And with that flat trajectory, it makes a very potent hunting round, especially if you're going out to like Alaska or uh, Canada or even out into Africa. It definitely has the power that you need in that 30 caliber cartridge with half the recoil of the 338. Yeah, neither of these very capable safari rounds. We don't usually consider hunting elephant here in the Midwest, but I uh, suppose it could happen. I think for an elephant, honestly, I'm taking the 338. Uh, now, I'm not sure if that is a typical elephant round because it's not something that I research too frequently, but I know that uh, things like the 416 Rigby and things like that are more common. Uh, as far as elephants are concerned, but the 338 would get it done. Uh, I have no doubt if your shot placement is appropriate. Uh, that or, you oh, know, yeah. maybe Cape Buffalo, things like that. Yeah, just slip one into its cervical vertebrae and let gravity do the rest. Uh, but yeah, I think, you know, let's, let's kind of wrap this up on this one because, uh, you know, these are two very niche cartridges, I think, that definitely have their place, especially in the long range shooting community. My preference on these two, even though it's newer and it's harder to find, is going to be the 300 PRC. I like the lower recoil. I like the flatter trajectory. The only downside to this cartridge, in my opinion, is ammo availability. Uh, that's the only thing right now that's really hamstringing it. Now, of course, if the military picks it up, I suspect you're going to see a lot more of it floating around. But until that happens, you are kind of limited to one manufacturer, which makes it difficult to find in harder times. That being said, 338 is a classic. Uh, it is a powerful, powerful cartridge. Uh, and uh, if that's all you have access to, then, man, you got nothing wrong with shooting a 338 Lapua. Dave, what are your final thoughts? Well, I, I'm a very cautious person, especially after the uh, unnameable events of uh, early 2020. Uh, ammo availability. It, yeah. It's, you know, it's everything. If you can't find the ammo, your rifle is just a very heavy and expensive paperweight. So I got to defer to the 338 here. That said, the second the military starts teaching people how to shoot 300 PRC, we're going to see civilian demand for the thing skyrocket. Oh yeah. So cautious guy that I am, I'd wait until the armed forces adopts a 300 PRC to really invest time and money into it. Makes sense to me, buddy. Uh, and as always, guys, make sure you click on that link down below, get your free coupon, and we will see you out on the range. <laughs>